everyone. Today we're going to read Little Inventions Pizza. This book is written by Raphael Fedgeto. Oh, there is no helping me figure out how to pronounce that word. That is a different last name than one I, that I know. The author is the person who writes the words in the book. And this book is going to be about pizza. The history of pizza is ancient. A long time ago, pizza, people loved eating different types of pancakes. Who likes to eat pancakes? I do. To make them, flour and water were mixed together and then made into a ball. The dough was flattened. So flatten your dough and then put in the stone oven to cook until crisp. Have you ever made pancakes at your house? Do you make your pancakes in an oven? Gar salt and aromatic herbs such as rosemary and garlic were added to the pancakes to make them taste better. Who wants a taste? Me, me, me. Who wants a treat? Since they were cheap and delicious, everyone ate them. It was even the soldier's main meal. Everybody was eating pancakes. These people were eating pancakes. These soldiers were eating pancakes. One day in the 16th century, a merchant went on a trip to America. They came back to Nepal in Italy or Naples in Italy was something incredible. It was completely red and round, like a circle. It was a tomato. Hmm, these people are asking, what is that? You eat it? None for me, thanks. But since people worried that tomatoes were poisonous, that means that it can make you really sick. Nobody wanted to try them. Scientists studied them in order to understand what they could be used for. Scientists research, do research and they test this way and that way. And they try to think and understand what things are and how things work. Look at this scientist. He is thinking in his head, is it a fruit, a vegetable? Hmm. So finally, so as to not take any risk, it was decided they would be used as decorations, like flowers. Decorations mean you only look at it. You don't try to eat it. This person said, oh, my king, they're so beautiful. What are they? And this king is saying, they're called tomatoes. For a long time, nobody in Italy ate tomatoes. However, one day, a cook from Naples who had a desire to invent new recipes had the idea to cook tomatoes and pour the juice on the pancakes. You know, hmm, a red pancake, that's super original. Have you ever tried to put tomato juice on your pancakes? He was very excited, but also a little scared. What if the tomatoes actually were poisonous? Hmm, look at his face. He is a little bit scared or worried. He looked for volunteers to taste his invention, but nobody would. So he decided to try it himself. He thought it was delicious and he didn't even get sick. You're not afraid of dying? How brave. What's it called? A pita? No, 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 a pizza. So he tried something new and decided that he liked it. Have you ever tried something new? Did you decide that you liked it or you didn't like it? Sometimes we don't know what we like until we try it. 
soon, everybody in Naples wanted to taste this new dish. The cook, who they called Pizziolo, or a pizza maker, made lots of them. They're like, me, me, I want some. Long live the pizza. Mamma mia, it's good. So everybody wanted to try it too, because they heard it was good. The Pizziolo was very organized. He prepared the pizza and soon as it was ready, his assistant carried it on his head on an iron plate and ran through the streets of the city singing to announce its arrival. You see this person running with the pizza on his head? They're going, pizza, pizza. And this person's saying, me, me, me. The Neapolitan foodies that they were bought pizza uh, slices after work and ate them quickly on their way back home. So these people would buy one slice and they would eat it while they walked home. Eventually people loved the pizza so much they came to get them right out of the oven. Hey chef, I want a really crispy one. Mmm, they have their tongues out. They're saying, mmm, they're so delicious. I am super hungry. The Pizziello had the idea to open a little counter where he could sell his pizza. Now all these people are waiting their turn in a line. And the Pizziello is saying, next. That means it's your turn. Then he suggested that people eat them on the spot. He made pizzas with sausage, ham, vegetables, or just tomato. There was something for everyone. Hmm, have you tried different toppings on your pizza? What do you like to have on your pizza? This person said, yum! Eventually, pizza became so popular, even poets praised this delicious dish in their poems. Beautiful like a pizza. And musicians composed songs. Oh, pizza mia. Do you ever make songs about pizza? Pizza was the dish that brought people together, the rich and the poor. It became the symbol and pride of Southern Italy. One day, the Queen of Italy insisted that she taste this new dish everyone was talking about. She ordered one of the best pizziolo of Naples, Raphael Esposito. I will make the best pizza in the world. To honor his queen, Raphael decided to make a new pizza with the colors of the Italian flag. He used tomato for red, basil for green, and finally white he used melted mozzarella, a delicious Italian cheese. The queen invited all her friends to discover the mysterious pizza. Ma, what is this? But the noblemen were very upset <sighs> that the queen was serving them a commoner's dish. It, look at the, the guest's face. Their mouths are frowning. Their eyes are kind of big. They, do you think that they look Happy or upset? Mm. The queen decided to taste it. And when she saw the melted cheese running everywhere, she almost ordered her guards to throw the pizziolo in prison. But once she ate her first bite, she loved the pizza so much that she sent a letter to thank Raphael with all of her heart. The letter said, Dear Raphael, it was the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. Thank you so much, Margarita. Of course, Raphael became the proudest pizziolo in Naples. He decided to call his specialty the Margarita Pizza in honor of his queen. Everyone, even today, when you go into a pizzeria, you can 
order a margarita pizza and it will still be the same as Raphael's, the best pizzaiolo in the whole world. And you, what's, and for you, what's your favorite pizza? The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. Until next time, bye.